place is right down the block from where I usually go snowboarding. I know about all the new resorts that took over around here. What they did around here was these used to be ski resorts and honeymoon places and what happened around here was a lot of these ski resorts and casinos opened up and they built these massive just huge resorts big buildings casinos big ski lodges and kind of put these little places out of business because when you can have an all-encompassing building with nice swimming pools and clubs and all kinds of new modern facilities it kind of makes these places go to the wayside and that's exactly what happened to this one right here Sauna too. It's one of those deluxe rooms. You get the big pool or the big sweet pool, I guess you can call it. It's pretty cool though. Like I told you about the other one, these places before. Air flights became really, really cheap. A lot of people from the New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Connecticut, other surrounding areas of the Poconos, they all come here to vacation because it's quick to drive and got them away from the city or whatever it was that they were trying to get away from and into some privacy. Basically, locked themselves in this room for a whole week a weekend and they have everything they need I assume. Sauna. Pool. Probably just left, go out to the restaurants, the bar, mingle it up. This is probably a swinger spot too. A lot of these places up here were swinger spots in the late seventies, early eighties. going on? Nothing. I was just looking outside waiting for you to leave there. This is one of those real swinger suites right here. Got the sink right in the middle. Of course, all the plumbing's been ripped out. That's something new. I've never seen the sink in the middle of the room like that. You got the shower over here, the toilet over here, and the crazy heart-shaped tub. Oddly, oddly heart-shaped tub. This is like the no tell motel section over here. This is like the uh, the one night stays. These aren't the deluxe honeymoon suites, I guess you could say, because they don't have a pool and a sauna and all that stuff. This is like where the swingers just came through real quick.
This is basically the most untouched one that we've seen so far here. That's where the bathroom is. Well, actually, no, the closets. Those closets, yeah. Those are closets over there. There's still pillows and blankets back there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. really nice place you know even though it's all messed up inside all these buildings are really nice and, and you know for the most part they'll look like they're really kind of new to when this place closed up this place closed up in the 90s right the roof that wall roof is gone and that wall is completely coming down yeah I like the old light poles that they have through here yeah they are cool you can just like picture people newly married holding hands walking through I like the little heart signs on the door yeah it tells you that it's the honeymoon <clears throat> and having like these villas it's like cool because you're set away from everybody else. You get to hang out and do your own thing. And then go to the restaurant or the bar or whatever and hang out with everybody else. But you don't have to be in the same, you know, hotel hallway with them, bumping into them. Or even really have to leave your own space the whole time. It's pretty cool. I say let's make our way over to the main building. Yeah, let's go over there. the recreation center or something. Mm -hmm. Look at, they saw the paddle. huge indoor tennis court facility and roller skating rink over there. Basketball hoops. Place actually looks 
really, 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 really good. Definitely the best gymnasium we've ever been inside of. Definitely makes you wonder how they let this thing go. You know, this is a facility that probably could have been used by, you know, some recreational facility. Should have just bought this, used it for the kids. They didn't let it have to go to waste. You know, it's really not going to waste. Look at that. Arrow. So there was a, a bow and arrow set here. And somebody decided to shoot some arrows at the ceiling. Pretty creative. I can't believe they just left all the old ice skates here. All that stuff. Could have just been donated to somebody else. Really weird. There's a downstairs. Cool. Let's go. This is completely untouched by any vandal. Pretty much. There's Somebody. Ash trays. There's all ash trays yeah. on the table. Anybody that came through here really respected the shit out of this place because there isn't even a chair that's out of place. This place is still completely set up. This shit is stuck to me. Somebody right there. Show your light on. They're gonna see that car. Yeah. Fuck. Do you think? Why don't you go look out? Somebody just came through here. Go look. I'm gonna go check him out right now. He might be getting busted right here in the best part of this whole place. There's a guy on a quad somewhere down there, probably looking at our car right now. I don't know if it's worthwhile to hang out in here and get the rest of what we need and go out there to our car. Either way, we're pretty much caught if we saw the car. So I don't think it really makes a difference.
just went back the other way. It was a man and a woman. Okay. We pretty much made it to where we wanted to get to. It's this bar right here. It's probably the coolest thing on property we got here. But now there's two people, a man and a woman, and a quad trying to find out where we are, I bet, because they probably just saw our truck in the back of the property. We're going to get some shots in here for you guys. Keep at it until they chase us away. dressing area for whoever the performers were. It's where they'd all hang out. Go right up on stage. Right through here. I love that lighting. Lighting always makes for great theming. This is a pretty damn cool bar, you know, if they remodeled this a little bit throughout the times, it would have held out. They could have rethemed it, they could have done something different. I don't know why they did an Arabian theme here, but it's still pretty cool. They themed it well. Kind of reminds me of a version of Disney's Polynesian Resort. Kind of like uh, the whole fountain that used to be inside the Polynesian Resort. This is really cool. Got all the water running through there, even a bridge that you can walk through all around there. Really, really cool. I had waterfall going up that. Looks like it came out of that box. Waterfall. It's kind of like the Grand Ceremonial House. So if you look up pictures for Polynesian Grand Ceremonial House, Disney Resort, that's exactly what the feeling is of it. So you can't walk all the way around like at Disney. Old dining hall. Looks like everybody just picked up and left. Pretty wild. It's a really cool room right here. Again, the lighting. Surprised nobody came here and stole that. Looks like this place is very well respected, even though it's it's seen its fair share of weather damage and stuff like that. I'm not seeing a lot of you know, the stuff isn't broken. Usually the stuff is broken. This is really nice stuff. Well, it's nice. I hope that whoever owns this property or whoever's going to buy this property takes these things and does something nice with them because you don't see a lot of this stained glass shit anymore. <clears throat> Newer light bulb.
I wonder if those people saw our car, or they're not even supposed to be here themselves and probably turn back around. Who knows? But I just hope we don't get caught up by anybody. I mean, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me. Those mixers. There's a lot of money left behind here. This kitchen alone is worth a lot of money. I'm sure they had plans on restoring this place. September 2002. That looks like the last date. September 2002. I thought it was late 90s, but looks like it survived a little longer than the others did. Let's get the hell out of the kitchen. This is where the lighting guy would stand and direct this light at the performers that were on stage. That's really cool. I've never gotten to play with one of these. It's cool. These are the different colors of lights. the last brandy the guy had. There's a guy out there in the car. And we're probably gonna run into him on the way out. But we're hiding from him right now. I don't know if he's an explorer or he's just surrounding the property. Taking a look at the outside. He might be too scared to come in. We'll see what happens. All right, there's people in that car just left. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to get to the rest of this place. Try to sneak out of here. Let's pass them in the driveway without being seen. I don't know how that's going to be possible at all, but we'll see what happens. They're not down that way over there. They're not down that way over there, so let's just get this area where there's all the glass. I want to film all this stuff before they come back. That light's on. The power's still on in here. Yeah, that was definitely really nerve wracking. This is the nicest, this is the nicest, most undestroyed pool I've ever seen. And it's pretty skatable too. It has that nice wall. You roll down that really nice. Hit that, maybe even hit the coat one if you good.
This place has definitely been respected. And with the amount of people running around here, seemingly chasing people away, they seem to be caring about it a little bit. Like I said before, I'm not here to destroy it. I'm only here to film whatever it is that they left behind. And look at all the good stuff that they left behind. Hear that? Tiles all rotten and warped. Tiles all coming apart from its stents that you could hear it cracking underneath my feet. entire miniature golf course in this back room aside from the pool here this is really cool I've never seen this before this is really neat I've never seen one of these that's been intact because they're all usually outside and rotten and a state-of-the-art 1970s gym what do you think about that? I remember having some of these gym things in my house, just like this. Crazy. Old, old, old. See that? Place closed down in 2002. This is 70s, 80s gym equipment right here. It was a while since they had updated. You know, this place was massive, hard to update everything here. They even have shuffleboard that time. Hmm. Old executive offices right here. That's where they used to run shit. Some on the links. Huh? Look how cute that mug is. It's like a golf bag. Yeah. Push me in my feet. It's all the room keys right there. Every room key. Every single one of them. Except for the 69s. Oh, there's a 69 tag. All the 69 keys are gone. It's all behind the front desk over here. Pamphlets, all that stuff. More keys. Hmm. The lights are still on here, like I said before. I don't know why. It's 
one of two places where the lights have been on. Oh. We just encountered a bunch of people over here. They're not yelling or doing anything to kick us off the property. I'm just going to keep on going about my way. Because like I said, there were no trespassing signs as Good far as property. this road goes. So. What? Nah. And they're definitely not adults, but it's whatever. No. Let's see what these people have to say. Like I said, I think we got the nuts and bolts of this place down. And uh, the bar was sick. The yeah, fact that it was literally. We evaded some other like, people. Like one, so. like one chair wasn't flipped over yeah. was the best. Totally. So, let's see what these guys have to say. Going on. All right, so those kids ended up being pretty cool. They're not here to start any trouble or give us any trouble. So, doing we'll what we're doing. Back over to the car. There's not much else to see. Everything else is pretty fresh. Showed you the finer points as always. And, yeah. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next spot. See what else we could see around here. Ready? Yep. Peace. Yeah. See you over there.